Hello everybody, this is Spirelli and welcome back to Overboard and a Cattail. I'm in this corner now, let's see whether that works any better. I might cover up some text. I haven't really checked because I don't know how to check because if I do, like, I'd have to reset stuff or I'd have to continue playing and you don't see, but like, begin again. Ah! Oopsie doopsie. Oh, there's goals. Can I... Can I get Clarissa to open up to me? Can I get into Clarissa's cabin? <coughs> Otherwise being arrested. He's got a secret. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Vilnsey. This button to utter by previous choices. Choices in green ones are the ones you took before. Come in. Thank you, ma'am. Captain says he put into Liberty Island at 4 p.m. Your husband is up already, is he? I don't know. I beg your pardon, ma'am? I mean, yes, he's up. He's taking a stroll about the deck, no doubt. I told the steward I've seen Markham this morning. If I see him, I'll tell him it's time for breakfast. All right, Veronica. Eight hours, then you're free. Get moving. Wait, I feel like I skipped something. But there isn't a second to waste. Okay. Restaurant. Act normal, Veronica. Go to breakfast. Go. I, I do feel like I skipped something. Less than eight hours from Liberty Island. I make my way to the restaurant. Rewind to the beginning of this scene. Okay. Like it's a perfectly normal morning. Lady Honorie Armstrong clips past on her way out. Ah, Veronica dear, are you quite well? You look awful. <laughs> so do you. Well, really? I think I insulted Lady H. With that she strides away. That was kind of the intent of that sentence. I don't know. It didn't it didn't seem like a compassionate statement to make. The restaurant's about half full. Clarissa. Clarissa Turpentine is a twenty something from Connecticut of some such place with moon eyes travelling alone. Malcolm found her riveting. Find her to be wet cloth in a bucket of milk. Sit with Clarissa. Good morning, Miss Clarissa. May I join you? My god. You're a ghoul, aren't you? Excuse me? I know what you did to him. Clarissa's crying about something. I have some bacon, dear. It's delightful. Can you eat at a time like this? Tell me you don't know. Now what, my dear? Just then, First Officer Anders strides over the table, all smiles. Ladies? Miss Turpentine, are you quite well? No, no I'm not. And it's her fault. She runs, weeping from the room. Does her fret from breakfast. Now what's wrong with the young lady, I wonder? Everyone saw me arguing with Clarissa. so young flighty flighty and emotional you were never like that of course mrs Vilnsey. i'll never tell the lady's secrets are her own good day to you mrs Vilnsey. perhaps i'll see you at dinner I'm staying at the Hotel Partington. An excellent choice, ma'am. Mrs. Vilnsey. Usually do my rounds between 11 and 12. At about half past, I could be near your cabin. Perhaps you might be in. Between 11 and 12, at about half past. Bring your hat. Okay, is that a date? What are we doing? 
I like your head. Of course, ma'am. Until then. First officer replaces his head on his head. He replaces his hat on his head and strides manfully away. Where can I see? Ah. Finish my breakfast in silence. Okay. No corpse. And this is just they might call on me around half past eleven. Well, we're not there yet. So. Clarissa was crying. She knows something. Smoking room. It's Lady Eight. Let's first try and talk to Clarissa. Seven hours from Liberty Island. The aft cabins belong to the Major and to Miss Clarissa Turpentine. Sobbing coming from a nearby cabin. Clarissa's door. Knock on Clarissa's door. Are you in there? I want to talk to you. You're going to want to talk to me. Are you threatening me? No, Veronica. Please. Just go away and never come back. You broke his heart. You... Oh, my. Are you talking about Malcolm? You never left him. Not like I did. You can't talk like this. Please, open the door. I don't want to talk to you. You killed him, Veronica. You killed him. Oh, she knows he's dead. I was like, why are you talking in the past tense? That's a lie, Clarissa. No. Go away. Please, you're driving me crazy. Claps into floods of tears again enough to spoil her bed sheets. How can she know? Well, because I did it just in the plain open. Maybe because of that. How much did she see? Cross over the major's cabin's door opens. Ah, now. Mem Sahib? Is everything quite all right? I think the Major heard me talking to Clarissa. You're the Major? That's right. Sabadar Major Sabit Singh of the 14th Sikh. Retired, obviously. At your service. He clicks his heels together. Veronica Villancy. Oh, I know who you are. Chaps talk about their wives. Not very complimentary, I'm afraid. Then you have me at a disadvantage. Hmm. Ah, but... Perhaps that way you can lure me into overconfidence. Make conversation. How long were you in the army? Still am in the army, madam. It's life's work. Old soldiers only fade away, if you recall. And you? Are you fading away? Are you fading yet? Around the edges, yes, a little. What's in America for you, Major? My old friend, Pitts. Fought together, Egypt, 20 years ago. He's only got one eye. I'm afraid he's quite a monster. A cyclops. With all the strengths of one, too. If you need a car flipped over, Pitts is the man you can call. <laughs> but he's friendly. His friends, certainly. What about you? It takes you across the ocean. To be honest, England scares me. People are going hungry. The government is spoiling for war. I can't see the place holding together. England always holds together, madam. It's a serious business. But it's done at the cost of the young and the foreigners. If you stay there, my advice is to grow old and English as fast as you can. Have you seen Malcolm? 
let's let's try and act as if we were looking for him. Maybe that's a way to go around and have people believe that I too am, am missing him and really want to know where he is at. Not today, I think. Have you looked in the smoking room? It was good to meet you, Mrs. Lindsay. With that, the Major disappears off down the corridor, whistling to himself. Okay, step away. Leave. I don't have the door keys this time around. So I can't just easily get into places. I'll have to make do without snooping around. Smoking room. Oh, oh he's, he went there as well. Smoking room is a stuffy place tucked into the back of the boat. Lack of jackets hung over the back of one of the chairs. Okay, his jacket is here. So is the major, snuffling cards and murmuring. Carstairs is here too, quietly smoking. Mrs. Vansey, I'm hoping to catch you at some point. Are you looking for your diamond by any chance? I found it on the upper deck this morning. Look. Oh. Malcolm would be furious if he knew. I'd lost it. They are extremely... They are extremely dear. You should be more careful, Alfred. I got my missing earring back. You're so right. Still, I'm very happy you two are back together. You and the earring, I mean. Have either of you spoken to Lady H this fine morning? The Major has heard a rumour from Lady Armstrong. Why? She has a nose for information, that woman. And she had the most interesting theory to share with me when I saw her just now. Theory. What kind of theory? The Amazon told me this morning that she's quite certain, quite convinced, in fact, the boat is sinking. Uh, her head must be spinning. Ha! Huh. Perhaps that it is. It is it. But my advice, keep an eye on the horizon. Check that it's still horizontal. Malcolm's jacket. My husband's jacket. I'll have one of the stewards run it back to your cabin. Thank you. The old man appears and takes the jacket away. Uh, let's leave. I'll be going now. Mem Sahib. I have Clarissa. I need to get into her cabin. Well, avoid being arrested. It's pretty obvious. Um, upper deck. I could meet Miss A. We go to my room. Hmm. Let's go to my room. And check out the jacket. Right. First thing I notice is someone has pushed a note under my door. Pick it up. Snatch a note from the floor. Read it. Dear Mrs. Vilnsey, I saw it and I'll tell everyone. Someone sent me a blackmail note. Oh, 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 who knows? Unless you give me ten thousand pounds. Meet me at the chapel at two o'clock. Don't be late. Oh shit. Try it. Scram that banana and chop it out of the portal. So I must Malcolm's jacket outside the door to my room. Take it inside and hang it over a chair. Look in the jacket pockets. What have you got in here? Well, wallet, cabin key, no love letters. Take the wallet. Lift Mark's wallet from the pocket of the jacket. 400 pounds. That's all our traveling money. Take Malcolm's key. Take the key. That's that. Door opens unexpectedly. I'm here to do your cabin, ma'am. Go ahead. 
That's all right, ma'am. I'll do another cabin, ma'am, and come back. Leave. Your face back on again, Veronica. I need to be here at 11.30, so I have some time, but I don't want to go too far. And then, what was it in a chapel at two? Four cabins occupied by Carstairs on one side and Lady H on the other. Lady H store. Lady Honoria Armstrong has a cabin more or less to herself on a separate corridor of the ship. Assumedly, so no one sees her rolling back trunk to her room. Knock. Hello? No answer. Tom Ackham's key in Lady H store. Try this. God, it's going to work. Phew. Not the key to this cabin. Carstairs door. Knock. Hello? No answer. Yeah, there's nobody in. By the door. Okay. I need to figure out where the door can actually work. Yeah, not the door, the key. 11.14. I don't, I don't really have time for chit chat because I want to beat my place. I'm just gonna go to my place and wait, I think, for the 20 minutes. Point to my chair is exhausted. Grandma comes key in the cabin door. See now? The key from your pocket, Malcolm, does it turn? Nope. So what door does this key open? I wonder. I wonder as well. Oh my. So, so, I mean, that was kind of obvious from the fact that we could test it on other doors. Um, bathroom. Catch a glimpse of my reflection in the mirror as I slip into the bathroom. Not as sharp as I'd like, perhaps. But it'll do. There's a bottle of tablets by the little sink. Tablets. Sleeping tablets. Strong ones. Oh, Veronica's little helpers. It's a wonder I wake up at all. Read the label. For the treatment of severe insomnia as a result of mental distress. Side effects, drowsiness, short term memory loss, irritability, aggressive outbursts, increased libido. Your full house, Veronica. Or rather, a royal flush. Look at them. Remove my earrings. Remove my earrings and put them safely in my pocket. There's a knock at the door. Mrs. Vilmsey? It's Anders. Marsh in a chase. Got a key. Don't make me get up. I do. Okay, and this has taken the Palski from the bridge. There was a Palski on the bridge? My dear lady! This key is a red tech. Yangs it on the nose of the dolphin paperweight on the desk. Oh, I remember that paperweight. You wanted to see me? Here I am. Magnificent, ma'am. And may I ask, do you want to see me? Come, sit beside me. Why, Mrs. Wilmsley? You're as nervous as a schoolboy. Well, you're here for an exam. Certainly. A very thorough and exacting exam. Oh, I'm fully prepared. Anders tosses me onto the bed and starts to undo my buttons. Like, can you not wait for a little bit? He doesn't ask me for permission. Well, that's not good. No more than I asked Malcolm for his. But unlike Malcolm, I'm not going anywhere. I do exactly what he wants me to. I fall for him right where I stand. <sighs> And he puts his head back on. Ma'am. So, that's it. Strict rationing aboard ship, ma'am. He gets to his feet. 
and heads into the bathroom to wash his face. Pasky is still on the desk by the awful dolphin. Uh oh. Get up out of bed. Well, get up, but the fact is, I can't move. They've been pinned like a butterfly to a board. You can hear the water running in the bathroom. Tidy my hair. Now let's try again. Get out of bed. I see I feel like a lobster that's been buried alive in its shell. So I trap myself to my feet. Grab Andy's passkey. Hop quickly out of bed and pick up the passkey with a red tack. From a sound, I think Andy's is brushing his teeth with Malcolm's toothbrush. Find Malcolm's keys in my clothes. Head over to my things and take out Malcolm's key. Untie the tack from the pass key. Untie the red tack from the pass key. Tie the tack to Malcolm's key. Taking fingers, I tie the red tack onto Malcolm's key. And is to sing an old song in his deep, manly voice. Put the tacked key back on the desk. Okay, so now I have the pass key to all the places, but I don't have any more. It's Malcolm's key, which I haven't figured out yet what it's for. But I can, oh God, how will I keep track of all the things? Like, <sighs> of the pass key under my pillow. And this is coming out. And this returns. You look perfect, dear. Good show. Picks up his key from the desk. Salutes. And he out he goes. Reach under my pillow and take out the pass key. All right, Veronica, time to get up. Since, after all, you have to run on the ship now. Let's leave then. Your face back on, Veronica. Out we go. We gotta make something out of this. She's still in her cabins, though. Teresa says she saw something. Well, I might just try and break in while she's in there and see what I can do about it. Clarissa's door. Listen. Put my ear to the keyhole. Sobbing, sobbing. Okay. Knock on the door again. Clarissa? What do you want? Meet me on the upper deck. Why? Do it for Malcolm. Trust me. I hate you. Duck out of sight. Quickly duck down on behind a potted plant. Three minutes pass by. This looks amazing. And then Clarissa steps out and hurries up the passageway. She's gone. Use the pass key. Here you go again, Veronica. Can I get into the cabin? Yes. Slip inside and close the door behind me. Drop an earring. Drop one of my earrings in the middle of the floor. Ah, the desk. The desk is scattered with handwritten sheets. Read one. So she writes, does she? There's such an awful poetry from her husband. Oh dear lord. Poetry. You write Malcolm with Falcon. Yet with flu, do you hear more sort of fell? Take one. One. What shall I do with the trunk and sailor? Tear off his clothes and make work for his tailor. And the inks run from a teardrop. Gotta look somewhere else. Nightstand. Nightstand holds a glass of water, a book, and an eye mask. Put sleeping pills on a nightstand. Get my name from the label and leave these here. Leave Malcolm's wallet here. There, a nice little touch, I think. The book. What are you reading, Clarissa? Oh, Great Britain by Oswald Mosley. I've also been reading one of Malcolm's small minded little books. One of Malcolm's nasty little books. Small thought for small minds. You know why black shirts were black shirts, Malcolm? Because Nanny didn't teach them to wash their clothes. Leave it here. 
I'll be quite happy not to see any of his miserable volumes again. Desk. Scare with handwritten sheets. Oh, okay. Leave the room. There. Locked. Leave. I'm gonna go up and talk to her. I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're doing something. Might wait to the upper deck. And there she is. I met Clarissa at the upper rail. Well, you wanted to talk to me? Out with it. Uh, no, I can't show her that I've been into. So Sorry, you can't see this. This says, show love poem to Clarissa. But I can't really do that because then she knows I was in the flat. Clarissa, you saw something. What is it you saw? So I'm fall, Veronica. Last night. It was horrible. I was in my bunk just writing something. And I looked up. And he shot past the portal in front of me. I kind of seen him. It was dark outside. The class would have reflected your cabin. I know what I saw. And you know too. I can tell from your face that you know. Is that your portal down here? Was this where he was standing? Maybe. I'm not sure. Then he's out to sea. Check quickly. We're all alone up here. Oh god. We can join him, Clarissa. I grab her by her waist. What are you doing? He's as thin as a child. Oh god. No, wait! <coughs> Push that silly girl overboard. Clop, clop, gurgle. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, the last sound she makes is like mooling like a kitten. Be happy together. The rail. Lean over the rail and stare down into the water below. And the ark is in sight. Wonder if they realize he's gone before we land. But I don't think it was her blackmailing me because she doesn't seem the type to blackmail me. She's just like love sick and, and heartbroken. In a way, go below. I leave the rail, look up. The commander and is at the wheel looking back at me. Well, yeah, he's there. I need to. Let me tell me to go to the chapel at two o'clock. Be here. Two hours. Small chapel is tucked into the very bottom of the boat. Veronica Valencia. You idiot. Excuse me? Major Singh sent me. Anders? Major said they said I was to be here at two o'clock. And that I should take whoever I found to him in the restaurant. I think I've been caught. Why? Please, I don't want to track you. But it will look very suspicious if you don't come. Oh god, so should I not have gone to the chapel? I sh should I? I need to make somebody go to the chapel at two. That would be a good- I think I need to like take notes for this game for the next time around. Hey. Okay. Just... Okay. Make somebody. Go to chapel. Because obviously I can pin things on her. Find out Malcolm's key. I need to figure that one out. Where is the key leading to? Um, I didn't talk to Lady H at all. I don't know whether that's important. I know that the key is in chapel so I can get to that much earlier. How do I get him to not investigate me? Less than two hours from Liberty Island. The rest on Lady H, Carstairs and the Major soon gathered. 
and his walks me in his steps to one side. Thank you all for coming. I apologize for gathering you all here. It's most unusual. But I believe something unusual has indeed occurred. Mrs. Valencia? Where exactly is your husband? He was with me this morning. Respectfully, ma'am. The bed in your cabin, it had not been slept in. The maid saw. I saw this for myself also. Okay. Ah, sorry, yes. Raffle. Bed. Or not tell them that, you know, I saw him this morning. Perhaps he might have slept on Chase instead. But Mr. Valensey, he did not. I was so sure he was with me. But perhaps it was a dream? Find this, something has become of Mr. Valensey. So what has happened? Find the Anders, where's Miss Turpentine? I'm afraid I don't know, Major. Can't find her either. But she was in quite state at breakfast. You don't think she's vanished too? I fear the worst. Excuse me. I saw Mrs. Vernsey on the deck with her husband last night. He took a stroll. Last night to look at the stars. Then Malcolm stayed out and I went to bed. And that's when you dropped your earring. I'm glad you got it back. Yes, 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 but listen, won't you? As I went below, there was a splash. What kind of splash? Heavy splash. Thought it was something falling off the boat until... Until all of this. Miss Valency. You went on deck with your husband. I want to have seen him since. You lied about your husband's whereabouts this morning. Can you explain yourself? I'm innocent. I, I, I planted all the evidence in the, in, the, in the girl's room that I killed. Didn't do anything. I don't know about reliable Mr. Vilnsey can be major. The mate found a tube of barbiturates in Mrs. Vilnsey's cabin. I need to take them away earlier. Oh god. So... My question right now is, is there like one way to go for this and I need to trial and error until I find this way out or is there multiple ways and I just need to find a way that works for me? Sleeping pills? So? There's nothing wrong with that. They're extremely strong sleeping pills. My mother took them, they have quite powerful side effects. Mood swings, memory loss, rage. I only keep them for emergencies. Was last night an emergency? So what happened? Clarissa killed him. She loved him and she couldn't have him. Then she threw herself overboard. Poppycock. Must advise the captain that Malcolm Valencia committed suicide last night. What? What? I'm forced to say the same for Miss Turpentine. Stop! Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so, no. Not you, Major. Him. Me, Lady Armstrong? Anders will vouch for me. Won't you, Commander? Commander? Well, Subadar Major have been intending to discuss the matter discreetly with the captain himself, but since you forced me into speaking publicly... It was dark on deck, surely. Can't have seen anything. The man... The moon was quite bright, ma'am. Quite bright enough to see the upper deck. I saw Mrs. Vilnsey on deck last night, and I saw something fall off the ship. I knew it. I have a nose for these things. Anders turned me in. You cad! You bastard, I hope you rot in hell. Mrs. Vernsey, please come with me. Man attracts me by the arm out of the restaurant.
thought you lost me, Anders. I had dreams. You're very fine, Veronica Vonsay, but not fine enough to hang for. Just come with me. You better stay in your cabin until we dock. Okay, so we could make it look like suicide. Okay, and here I am again. Miss Vonsay. Okay, same outcome, but I've learned new things and I got a little note on what I need to do differently and better and I think it's easier to put the blame on somebody else than it is to go for a suicide. I think next up, I want to very heavily lean on, I haven't seen my husband, where's my husband, has anybody seen my husband and me frantically trying to search him. I don't know how I can get Anders to not turn me in. It's probably... He'll keep quiet unless he's pushed to talk. So I need to talk to Lady H and have her stop me. I do not respond to the blackmail letter. And, uh, yeah. Thumbs too. Let's see how many attempts we need to get somewhere. I'm in love with this game. Um... I think this is uploaded in a spot where I currently usually upload Divinity. So sorry, but like this this is more important. I need to murder someone. I will I don't know how many tries this will need, and each try I think will be about one video. But then once once we're done with these attempts, the slot will go back to Divinity. I just really, really felt like buying this. Um it, it was a gift, thanks you once again for this amazing gift, because yes, this is perfect for me. Oh my god, how did you know? <laughs> anyway, um, thank you so much for watching, I'll be back soon with another attempt.